In step 3 of the Campart definition process, the following actions have to be implemented to complete the first stage of defining the Campart for solid cam. The procedures for completing this step include selecting the CNC machine controller and defining the machine coordinate system, stock model, and target model. After clicking OK to confirm the CAM part creation and close the new milling part dialog box, the milling part data dialog box is displayed. Under CNC machine, you will see that the G-milling post for a 3-axis Haas SS is the default CNC controller selection. Just like in the solid cam settings, if you click the arrow in the CNC machine area, a list of post processors installed on the system will be displayed. Leave the default selection, G-Milling Haas SS 3X. Next, start the coordinate system definition. Click the Define button in the coordinate system area to define the machine coordinate system. The machine coordinate system defines the origin for all iMachining operations of the CAM part. It corresponds with the built-in controller functions. You can define the coordinate system origin position and axis orientation by selecting model faces, vertices, edges, or SOLIDWORKS coordinate systems. The Coordsys dialog box enables you to define the coordinate system location and the orientation of the axes. SOLIDCAM enables you to define the coordinate system using several different types of methods. Select Face, Define, Select Coordinate System, normal to current view, and by three points, associative. Use the select face option to define coordsys and place coordsys origin to corner of model box. Click on the top face of the stock model in the SOLIDWORKS graphics area as shown. The coordinate system will appear on the top left corner of the model box with the z-axis normal to that face. Confirm the coordinate system definition by clicking OK at the top left of the Coordsys dialog box. The Coordsys Data dialog box is displayed. This dialog box enables you to define the default machining levels, such as Tool Start Level, Clearance Level, Part Upper Level, Part Lower Level, and Tool Z Level. Click OK to accept the default Z levels. The Coordsys Manager dialog box is displayed in the Property Manager area of SOLIDWORKS. This dialog box displays the Machine Coordinate System, MAC1 Position 1. Confirm the Machine Coordinate System and close the Coordsys Manager dialog box with the OK button. The Milling Part Data dialog box is displayed again. Next, define the stock model. For each milling project, you can define the stock model which is the workpiece that is placed on the machine before you start machining the cam part. Click the Stock button in the Stock and Target Model section of the Milling Part Data dialog box. The Model dialog box is displayed. This dialog box enables you to choose the mode of the stock model definition. Since there is already a solid body that was created in SOLIDWORKS representing the stock material, choose the 3D model mode from the Defined By list. Click on the stock model in the SOLIDWORKS graphics area as shown. Solid 1 appears in the type section and the stock model is defined. Click OK to confirm the stock model definition. The milling part data dialog box is displayed again. Next, define the target model. SOLIDCAM enables you to define the target model, which is the final shape of the cam part after the machining. SOLIDCAM uses the target model for gouge checking in the Solid Verify simulation. Click the Target button in the Stock and Target Model area of the Milling Part Data dialog box. The Model dialog box is once again displayed. Click on the Target model in the SOLIDWORKS graphics area as shown. Just like when defining the stock model, Solid 1 appears in the Type section and the target model is now defined. Click OK to confirm the target model definition. The Milling Part Data dialog box is displayed once again. At this stage, Step 3 is complete and the definition of the CAM part is finished for use in solid CAM alone when using traditional milling techniques. When milling with iMachining in solid CAM, there is another stage to complete before an iMachining operation can be added to the CAM part.
This stage will be covered in the next step. If you have not followed along, apply and practice the procedure shown in this video to complete the first stage of defining the CAM part for SolidCAM. Remember, the procedures for completing this step include selecting the CNC machine controller and defining the machine coordinate system, stock model, and target model.